Aloha! Thanks for joining me in this video today about high heel hacks. If your shoes are too big, too small, or your feet just hurt wearing them, stay tuned. I'm going to teach you my seven favorite high heel hacks. Either to do it yourself at home or to do it with a professional, but I'm going to give you the options. So stay tuned! Welcome back. Thanks for joining me. I'm Terry Edmonds. And if you're new to my channel, my videos are about shoe reviews and how to do it yourself tutorials. I am a cobbler and a shoe designer, and I've been specializing in high heels for nearly 20 years. <laughs> so this is one of my favorite topics. So let's get started. Okay, high heel hack number one buy shoes that fit you properly. And the best way to do that is to shop for shoes in the afternoon. You'll have been standing on your feet, you'll have maybe worked all day long and your feet will be as swollen as they're gonna be. And that's the best time to get a shoe that fits you properly. If not, and you shop in the morning, you buy your shoes and now all of a sudden it's evening and you wanna go dancing in your gorgeous stilettos, well, they probably won't fit. So again, high heel hack number one, shop in the afternoon. Okay, high heel hack number two, making your shoes fit that are too small. Again, let's say you bought your shoe early in the morning, you're getting ready to uh, go out in the evening and your shoes are way too tight. It's gonna hurt dancing the night away. So you wanna get your shoe. One thing that you can do at home that's kind of popular out on the uh, Weberverse <laughs> is people, they say you can put a sock over your foot and then you fold the sock down about halfway and then go ahead and stick it inside of the sh of your shoe you, you want to wear this around the house okay that's okay um you know uh could take you for the day and it's going to hurt your feet to do that it does work very slowly so that's your do it yourself at home and you can also put a little bit of a heat gun on that so I, you can use a blow dryer at home. I happen to use a, a very industrial heat gun, but you can heat the entire part of the shoe very, very carefully. I put it on a low heat. If you're a hair dryer at home, then you can go ahead and use the sock method and walk around around the house. Um, like I said, it takes a long time. So what I recommend is if you've got a collection of shoes that, and you run into this problem a lot, Maybe go ahead and invest, and I'll put the link down below, but invest in a shoe stretcher. This keeps you from doing the work and damaging your feet yourself. You know, you can avoid getting blisters and just general discomfort. The other thing you can do is go to a cobbler, a cobbler like myself. Uh, for about $20, a cobbler will have just the right item and you can tell the cobbler, hey, you know, this is bugging me right here, or I've got a, a bunion that's hurting me right here. So the cobbler can go ahead and take their shoe stretcher and they put little uh, devices on it so that it gets in the exact spots, things that you just really can't do at home. So that's my heel hack number two, maybe go to a professional. Heel hack number three, what if your shoes are too big? Definitely happens. Sometimes we just love that shoe and have to have it and you know it's just a little too big. There is a trick that you can do to salvage the shoe. And they're great. They This uh, this is what I use in my store. Um, you can't see them on the wall, but I do offer them. And it's called foot pedals. There are other items that are like these out. I know Dr. Scholl's makes a gel uh, product. But I like this one and like I, I've been selling shoes and high heels for almost 20 years so I've seen it all <laughs> and I these have just been tried and true. Uh, they do make a longer one which is okay but you almost really only need this half one. It's got a self-adhesive on the back so uh, you don't need any glue at home and what you do is uh, you've got your ball of your foot and you want to 
when this is inserted into the shoe, right about where the ball of the foot is going to land, right about there, and it gets glued in, two things happen. Your foot hits this on the ball of the foot and it holds the foot in place, which is really nice because it keeps you from slipping forward. So one, it can take up the length of a shoe for you, but it also takes the pressure of the weight of your foot and, and applies it more to the ball of the foot rather than the sides of your foot. And any of us know in a tall, gorgeous heel like this, it is pushing you forward into the shoe. So um, I just love this. This is the best way to go. And it does keep you from stretching out the shoe because your foot's not jamming in there and stretching out the shoe. So I love these and they come in all different kinds of colors. Uh, this one's fun because it's the wedding one that says I do on it, but they also come in beige, black, gray, and pink. When they're in the shoe, nobody's gonna see them anyway, but typically as a professional, if I were to counsel someone, I would put the beige inside here. So who knows if you take your foot off or shoes off at the door of a party or something, it might look more sophisticated. So I love that. That's a really great way to make your shoes fit smaller. In a shoe such as this, if you have bought the shoe and it is too big by more than even a half a size, there is virtually no way to make this shoe fit you. I have seen other DIY specialists on YouTube that suggest putting a, a foam sponge underneath the ball of your foot, but it really doesn't work. So I, I, I've had people beg me to try to make shoes fit <laughs> and it's just really hard to do that. Some people can sew elastic, a, a professional can sew some elastic in the back provided it didn't have all this fancy beading and that could kind of help. But then again, it just pushes you forward into the shoe. So you end up, you know, piling up pads and, you know, I just say kind of buy the shoe that fits you properly in the first place. Even a little small is better than a little bit big. Okay, one of my favorite hacks is for slippery soles. This beautiful Louboutin has been worn already and I used it, I wanted to show you this. Before this happens though, I have clients that are very sophisticated and understand the offerings of a shoe repair shop. So what I do, and I'm gonna include a link to the video. There, will, I'll do a video on how to save your Louboutin non-slip, or how to save your Louboutins. So this is called a Toki half sole, and a professional shoe repair person will apply the Toki all the way. It goes, it covers the entire base of the shoe. Then we trim it off and it absolutely fits it perfectly. You can't even tell that it's on it. That's what a professional does. And here is an example on a men's shoe of what it looks like as a finished product. See, it's just blended in so beautifully that you can't even tell that it's on there and it's completely non-slip. If you uh, do not have access to a shoe repair person, there, there are some home remedies. For instance, a real basic one is either uh, using a really nice strong uh, nail file that will rough that up and uh, causes some, some grooves and it makes it more rough instead of this slick kind of a waxy finish. Nail file, if you need more, you can use a stronger sandpaper. And the other option, which is kind of cool, are these non-slip self-adhesive pads. So for my favorite shoe, and they come in different colors, I found uh, clear, black, red, and beige as far as uh, being able to do it yourself. So let's, pretty easy to say, the Louboutin with the red sole, of course I would do this. The only thing is it just doesn't cover all the edges. A Louboutin is very, very thin, thin sole. So as soon as you start to wear this, you're gonna wear out that sole. That's when you would really wanna go to a professional and have a professional half sole put on so that you don't wear out the edges of your beautiful shoes. 
For me, I would of course do it professionally, but if I was out in a hurry and I didn't have time, but I wanted to, these are my favorite shoes. I love them. They're so great. Ben, Benjamin Walk, oh my gosh, and they come in all these great colors. But I would take the beige one, of course, and just apply it right to the bottom, especially if we're going out to a dinner in a fancy hotel or something with marble floors or wood floors, things like that. It's really nice. And these run about $7. Um, you can find all of these products listed in the YouTube description below. So for heel hack number five, walking on grass. <laughs> As you, any of you girls know who go to outdoor weddings, outdoor functions, I do a lot of outdoor uh, galas and thin heels, it's like aerating a golf course. They just slip right through the grass. They scuff up all of your beautiful heels. So some genius out there in the shoe world invented a wonderful device for that. And it is called Soulmates. They come in small, medium, and large, or actually it's narrow, classic, and wide. And they look like this. It's a little plastic covering, okay? And for me, if I were to use it, you it always helps to bring your shoes into where the store where you're buying, and it just slips, right? Do this so you can see it. So it slips right on top of the heel like that. Isn't that nice? It gives you just enough of a base that your heel will not be able to sink through the grass. Genius, really great. And I know some people don't like the look, but honestly, when you're standing 20 yards away from somebody, they won't even know. They'll be concerned about their shoes sinking through the grass, not what you're wearing. Heel hack number six, smelly shoes. Some people have to deal with it. So I have some two great ideas for you if you suffer from that. And that is to clean your shoes with a little hydrogen peroxide. This will not hurt the shoe, but you wanna do it like on a cotton ball and then just wipe the inside of the shoe out and let it dry, okay? That's a wonderful thing. And then if you want to go to your local store, you can buy a wonderful product. I happen to uh, sell the Kiwi brand, uh, but this actually just sits inside the shoe, whether it's a men's loafer or a high heel, and you actually press this down and it, it puts out a product inside the shoe that helps eliminate the odor from wear to wear. So a uh, really great product. And there are more other items like this. They really do work. And I have definitely had women who struggle with that. So I hear you and I'm telling you it works. So it's worth going for that. We are at my final heel hack, alleviating pain if you can. <laughs> there are some things that you can do. Uh, it, there is a scientific fact that between your second and your third toe, there's a nerve. And when you tape these two together, these two toes together, just using a little bit of scotch tape, look at this cute dispenser, isn't that cute? Oh my God, it's so cute. Anyway, it actually will help you uh, relieve the pain as you're wearing the shoes. So if, if you're one of these gals that wears shoes to work all the time in these high heels, give it a try. Um, I know it takes a little extra work in the morning, but it is worth it. Uh, the other thing is, I know some people, especially in a closed back like this, your heel can slip in and out of the back causing a blister. So the one I suggested was putting in the foot pedal in the front to push your foot back and to hold that shoe on because the shoe's a little big for you if this is happening. The other thing, some girls like to put a band-aid on the back of your heel. Well, I think a lot of us who have actually done that know that that falls off uh, during the day. It does, it gets kind of wonky and eh. Anyways, who wants to see an ugly band-aid on your foot? So what I recommend um, is you can either buy these made specifically for the back of the shoe or you go back to your little collection of foot pedals that you've invested in because you're so smart and just cut it to look the shape of a Band-Aid. It's got a self-adhesive on it and then you take it and you just would put it right into the back of the shoe. Oh, it's so lovely. You can even do this and just cut the edges off of it. it 
fills up that back of that heel cup for you. Wonderful. This is such a great idea. I do this a lot to help gals. And then the other product that I use pretty significantly is Moleskin. Uh, this is part of a sheet that I've cut up and used a lot, but the bag looks like this. You can usually find them at your local pharmacy. And it comes either thin, this is thin, and then there's another version you can get that has about a quarter inch of foam. Either one are great. They have a, a self-adhesive on the back, so you just cut the shape for, for your size, what you need. The other item is Foot Pedals, whom I love, I told you, makes these little cloud dots. <laughs> And they're really great. They can go in little troubled spots inside the shoe and very discreetly. So no one knows that you've got these, you know, pads like on this beautiful Louboutin. If I was having a problem inside here, I would just take this and it would stick right in there. And the glue on here is great. So you can really put a lot of wear on these and these won't come out versus the, the uh, Band-Aid. So it's worth the investment. Again, I'll have a link down below. It'll ship straight from my Amazon. Uh, store if you're looking for these and you just want to order it at home. Well, there we have it. My seven favorite high heel hacks from a pro to help you at home. Thank you for joining me. I love doing these videos. This was a recommendation by Cindy Smith and it was a great suggestion because I get asked all the time. I should have thought of it myself. So thank you for your suggestions. Remember to subscribe or share the video if you have know somebody that could benefit from all of this great useful information. And thanks for joining me again from my store, If the Shoe Fits in Maui, Hawaii, Terry Edmonds signing off. Aloha.